guys, hope you're all well. As it is a festive season now, I'm going to make a super simple rose cookies. The reason they call it rose cookies is because the mold is flowery. So this, the preparation time for this recipe literally takes 10 minutes. You can make it along with me and it is super simple. Everybody in the family would love it. I will say the measurements both in cup as well as gram measurement. So I'm taking one cup of rice flour in gram measurement. It is 250 grams. To it, add half a cup of plain flour or maida. In gram measurement, it is 125 grams. Take half a cup or 125 grams of granulated sugar. Or else, you can take caster sugar. I'm adding cardamom pods to the granulated sugar. Gonna blend it to make it into a fine powder. So here it is. Now there you can see how fine it is. Half a cup or 125 grams of powdered sugar or caster sugar. One eighth of a teaspoon of salt. This is to enhance the taste. I'm mixing the dry ingredients to ensure it is evenly mixed up. And now I'm going to crack in an egg. There you go. Looks nice. One teaspoon black sesame seeds, just sprinkle it and give it a good mix. I extracted fresh coconut milk to add it to the mixture. So now add in little by little, not all at once. And now mix it up. I'll show you the consistency where you gotta stop adding coconut milk because you don't want it to be too way too runny or too thick. One of the tips for lump-free mixture is for you to mix it up even when it is a bit thick, like that, and then you can make it a little bit thinner. Initially, there were a few bits and pieces of lumps. Now I can't see them. Now add in some more coconut milk. Now I'm going to use my hand. Look at the consistency. To test if it is the right consistency, just dunk in a spoon. You can see the layer, a thin layer of dough just sticks onto the spoon. That's the right consistency. Now we can start preparing the snack. Make sure you mix the dough because otherwise it will stay thin on the top and rest thick at the bottom. Now I'm going to use this floury mold and I got this from Amazon. So to make these cookies, I've got the oil hot. So in this hot oil, I'm going to dunk the cookie mold, taking the mold from hot oil and popping it in the batter. Look at that, you can hear the sizzling noise. And you're not supposed to dunk it fully, just below the rim. Otherwise the dough will not separate itself when you put it in the oil. Pop it in the oil. Now start wiggling it so it separates itself. Look at that. I did not do anything, but it has separated itself. If it doesn't get separated, what you can do, you can, with the help of a fork, you can slide it gently downward, and then it'll come off. Like that. In, let the mold be in hot oil still. Once the bubbles start settling, that is a sign that it is fully cooked. Look at that, it's completely settled. You can take it off. Look at that, how pretty it looks. There it is, it's now ready. A super simple, delicious and super crunchy Roast cookies are ready. Let me eat this and show it to you to show how crunchy it is. Mm. It's so nice. You can have this about a week and eat it, but it'll be gone before that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you make this recipe. Leave your comments below. 
And if you have liked this recipe and the video, do hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends and families, and have a nice day!